Hey, what's up guys? So today we got something special in the mail. Uh, we got Notch Costumes X Max Fender Flares. So let's check them out. So let's take a peek inside this box and look at overall uh, condition for packaging. So far, I really like what I see. They really took the time to package these guys pretty well. Way better than um, <clears throat> the other Fender Flares that are available on the market for similar price. You know, I guess those those ones are made for whacking bushes. <laughs> Anyways, let's take let's see let's take this one out. Kind of overlook at this. All right, so individually packed to each individual side. Overall, the finish is not bad both of these together they do feel quite heavy let's cut these open and take a look inside what the inside looks like oh cool so they already have the studs pre-built inside of them which is awesome so i mean on the website it looks like uh the information says that it is a 316 thick so basically a quarter inch thick um, fiberglass hand laid reinforced and I mean like I have to apply quite a bit of force to bend these these are pretty stout fender flares for the amount of money that you pay for these I'm pretty impressed and the finish that they already come in oh really I mean, I don't even have to primer these things. All I have to do is really just maybe send them down and just uh, put some base coat on and put some paint on. They do look pretty nice. The edges themselves, um, they will need a little bit of work, but that that's to be expected with fiberglass. This is awesome. This is pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely a stout little fender flare. Okay, let's take a look at the other ones. I uh, actually wanted to see if there was anything else available in here. Perhaps we need some sort of a, you know, packing instructions or, or instructions that were packed together. Dirty. Oof, more hefty. Um, the only really downside that might see here is perhaps the studs the way they're the way the studs are mounted in there you know i was expecting more of a somewhat of a better mounting bracket but you know what even if this breaks i could just go grab some fiberglass some resin and reattach them back this is awesome okay Let's open up the front ones. Just look at the packing quality on this. Edges are protected. You know, sand pieces all the way around. Look at this. This is awesome. Like, it really shows that they took the time and care to package them properly. These are mounting hardware. Got a set of washers, looks like rubber washers, nuts. Beautiful. So, all right, and also note where the instructions can be found at notchcustoms.com slash or dash instructions. And I've looked at their instructions and they're very detailed and to a point they actually go step by step, which is great. It's another bonus, another plus. So, this is the outside. Yeah, 
so it looks like they even come pre-sanded if you if you look closely i don't know if you can tell on the camera here that you can see that these have actually been already sanded down the gel coat has been sanded there's all the little leftover white stuff from it being sanded down sweet take a look at the inside so same story as the reverse looks like fiberglass along with some resin and it looks like some glue of some sort of course my neighbor has to start this. <laughs> his uh, little noisy little deal anyways okay I want to mock up these on the car and see how they're gonna look I got them all kind of mucked up on the Jeep just to kind of see what I need to do and if I need to change anything or things like that. And it looks like I will need to get rid of these, maybe this um, armor plate in the back. Because I don't know if I like the way it looks. But kind of like the overall look of the Jeep with them on. Definitely need to get some bigger tires for this. Because this, this, these open up quite a bit of room in here. I mean, on you know, looks like it does say that they are designed to fit bigger tires with a smaller lift. And right now, I have roughly about six, seven inches of lift on this Jeep. And you know, I think I can fit some 37s underneath, and it will fill in the gap quite nicely. I but think that's going to be coming up sometime soon once I get this Jeep. The front end all redone and get that all figured out probably gonna have to order some new fenders and then we'll move on to installing these fender flares on plus the Baja fiber hood will go on the Jeep as well so I think at the end it's gonna be a pretty sweet little project but I do need to figure out how to remove this um, undercoating off of the Jeep so if Anyone got any ideas, you know, other than trying to send it, trying to send it down or maybe using some kind of chemical, or maybe there's perhaps there's a chemical that will soften up the coating itself so I can just scrape it off because it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, obviously whoever did this was made a huge mistake. It's going to be a total pain to have remote. So hopefully this was useful. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, if you can, hit the subscribe button, press the thumbs up, and until next time, peace.